Hi and welcome to our Silver Africa Cup of Nations squad builder. So we're going to be using players competing in this year's Africa Cup of Nations. So please leave a like if you do enjoy, it does help out a lot. And subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. As you can see we're going to be using a 4-3-3 variant. So let's go. In net we have Samasa of Mali. He's right footed, he's 6 foot 6 tall. He's got a 1 star weak foot and 1 star skill. Now his standout stats are his 78 reflexes, 75 diving and 69 handling. I'd recommend a chemistry card on him to boost his positioning. I'd probably go for Cat, which is what I normally use. Into defence, at left back, we have Mbwenge of Senegal. He's left footed, six foot tall, medium, medium work rates, three star weak foot and two star skills. Looking at his in games, he stand out to his 78 sprint speed, 79 aggression, 76 acceleration, 76 stamina and 76 crossing. So we're going to be showing all players in game stats. So you can pause at any time if you want a closer examination of his stats. So on to our first centre back, we've got Diagne of Senegal. He's right footed, six foot tall, medium medium work rates, a three star weak foot and three star skills. Looking at his in games, he stand out to his 86 jumping, 76 sprint speed, 77 tan tackle, 75 interceptions and 74 marking. Our ice centre back partner is Akaminko of Ghana. He's right footed, six foot tall, medium high work rates, a two star weak foot and two star skills. Looking at his in-games, his standouts are his 83 stand tackle, 83 stamina, 81 jumping, 81 acceleration and 80 marking. And at right back, we have Apare of Ghana. He's right footed, 5 foot 8 tall, high medium work rate, a 4 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in-games, his standouts are his 92 jumping, 91 sprint speed, 88 acceleration, 88 stamina and 87 agility. And he also has the speed dribbler trait as well. Moving into our midfield, our first CM is Kiate of Senegal. He's right footed, 6 foot 3 tall, medium medium work rates, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 92 stamina, 87 sprint speed, 86 strength, 79 aggression and 78 jumping. Our next centre mid is Jordan Ayu of Ghana. We've moved him down from a striker to CM. Right footed, 5 foot 11 tall, medium medium work rates, a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in-games, his stand are his 81 agility, 78 sprint speed, 77 acceleration, 76 dribbling and 76 heading. He does also have the flirt, selfish and speed dribble traits as well. And at Cam we have Deame of Senegal, he's right footed, he's 6 foot tall, medium medium work rates, a 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Now looking at his in-games, his stand are his 85 dribbling, 84 shot power, 83 strength, 79 acceleration and 79 sprint speed. He does also have the long shot taker, selfish and technical dribbler traits as well. Now moving on to our forwards, starting off at left wing we have Mane of Senegal. He's right footed, 5 foot 8 tall, he's got a high medium work rate, a 3 star weak foot and 4 star skills. And looking at his in games, his standouts are his 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 88 agility, 83 balance and 79 dribbling. He also has the selfish speed dribbler and technical dribbler trait and he also has the speed the speciality as well. And our right wing is Uwusu Abe or Quincy of Ghana. He's right footed, 5 foot 10 tall, high low work rate, 3 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Looking at his in games, his stand out to his 90 speed, 88 acceleration, 84 shot power, 82 agility and 78 balance. He also has the flow and speed dribbler traits as well. And rounding off the team at striker, we have Mayuka of Zambia. He's right footed, 5 foot 10 tall, high low work rate, a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standout to his 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 88 agility, 79 jumping and 76 balance. And he also has the tries to be offside trap trait and the speeds to speciality as well. So we also like to show you our subs bench as well. Now when there are subs, we've included some players who we like and some we couldn't quite fit in uh, due to chemistry reasons. Obviously making it an African nation is a bit harder. So our Silver African nation subs are Traore, Basong, Constant, Zakara, Graydell, Inform Sankare and Traore. So now onto the gameplay. We're starting in net with some massa. Now we do have great height at six foot six. He's a big presence in between the sticks. He's got decent reflexes and diving for a big man. But his positioning does really let him down a bit. He's only got 62. So like we said, I suggest putting a chem card to boost that a bit. Uh, did have one great amazing game and did earn a man of the match in that old, uh, game as well. Did do some decent saves, but did let in some sloppy uh, shots as well. 
Now into defence, starting with the full backs, and we've got Mbwenge, who is solid at the back. Not that fast, but he does cope well enough, and he did also manage three assists as well, so when he roams forward, he is useful going forward, he's got decent passing. And we've got Apare on the right, he's great at right back with his pace, uses it to great effect to turn down the field and get crosses in up front. He does also use it to great effect to chase down opposition counter-attacks, so on a breakaway, a lot of the time he can catch up to get trapped back and get back. Now our two centre-backs both have good pace, Akaminko has slightly better stats of the two over Diagne, but both were really really solid at the back. Both put in a good shift, both made some great tackles as well on blocks. Uh, Akaminko does have the pace as well to roam a bit forward into midfield and uh, make some decent passes. Couldn't really split either of them with performance wide. They both do the jobs really, really well at the back. Moving into midfield, we have Kiate, who is the more defensive midfield. He's 87 sprint speed, 86 strength, make him a tank in the middle. And he's got 92 stamina as well, so he can run around for days. Our next CM, we have Jordan Ayu, who we've converted down from a striker to a CM. And he does actually make a great centre midfielder, as he has great passing for a striker. He's got good dribbling and agility as well. And he's got a good eye for goals, so when he roams forward, he can uh, create goals as well as scoring them as well. He did manage three goals and uh, three assists as well. And as I can, we're going to be using Diame. I know a lot normally use him as a, a CDM or a centre midfielder. And he is expensive, but he is one hell of a player. He is like a silver Yaya Tori. He's got great all-round stats. He's got 83 strength, 85 dribbling, and 84 shot power. And he's got good passing as well. And he actually makes a really, really good cam. They grab four goals and notch five assists. Really great player to try a bit further up the field as cam. And now onto our forwards. At left wing, we have Mane. He's got great pace and dribbling on the left. Right footed, of course, so we've got the perfect combo. Left winger with a right foot. Great for cutting in. And he has decent finishing when he does as well. Managed six goals and three assists. So he's really great when he's running it defensive with his pace and dribbling. Now on the right wing, we have another player in the same mould as Mane. We've got Quincy. Again, he does have pace and dribbling. And he also has great high-low work rates as well. So he's all going to be pushing forward, not dropping back into midfield. And we had some great dribbles with Quincy that often finished up with great goals as well. And also we had a great finish. Had a cracking shot from outside of the box. Just ricocheted in off the crossbar for a great finish. And he also has his four-star skills as well. So Quincy and Mane make two great wingers for our African Cup of Nations team. And finally, onto our striker, we have Emmanuel Miyuka, our star man of the team. Another one with great pace, so we've got a trio up front, all with dangerous pace. 91 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. He also has the great high-low work rates as well, and the tries to be offside trap trait as well. So them two paired up make him dangerous up top. He's always on the shoulder of defenders, and when he does get away, his pace sends him clear, and there's no catching him. He does also have his 4-star weak foot and 4-star skills, making him a great striker. He also has a great finish on him as well and was top scorer in our Cup and Africa Cup of Nations team. And he even was decent in the air as well. Despite his 59 heading, he did grab a couple of uh, headers, one from a corner, one from a cross as well. So not bad all round as a striker. Highly recommended player and fairly cheap this year as well. Around 5k on both systems, so I highly recommend you go and try Miyuka. Really fun team to use with the Africa Cup of Nations players making a formidable silver squad as with our gold one that went on the rampage. Uh, so we always like to show you as much information as we can. So here's a stat breakdown of our team. So we played 10, won 8 and lost 2. We scored 28 goals, conceded 10. Our star man was Miyuka who was really run close for the award by Dayame. Top scorer was Miyuka, most assists was Dayame. And all the stat averages are on the right hand side for you to have a look at as well. So hopefully you did enjoy the Africa Cup of Nations squad builder. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out the channel a lot. And subscribe if you're new. If you do like in-depth squad builders and reviews, we've got loads more to check out on the channel. And we've got loads of silver builders to come as well. So stay tuned for all them. Stay tuned for squad builders and reviews. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Stay tuned. Peace.